Here's a quick video on how to test a 9 volt battery using a multimeter. There are three ways to check a 9 volt battery using this particular multimeter. There's one correct way, or actually there's two correct ways, and one incorrect way. So I'm going to start with the incorrect way. That is by using the high impedance uh, DC voltage measurement over here. And I'm going to start testing the first one. And it indicates 8.898 volts. That's almost 9 volts. Now the second battery, 8.083 volts. Third battery, 1.86 volts and fourth battery 9.239 volts so this shows that uh, the voltage on battery number two is almost the same as uh, or actually it's about a volt lower or 0.9 volts lower than the first battery but like I said, this is the incorrect way to check the voltage on these batteries or to test these batteries. And the reason why is because there's something called a surface charge on these batteries in which they will falsely uh, indicate a higher voltage um, than you'll actually get if you put these batteries into a device. And in order to simulate uh, an actual practical test of these batteries we're going to have to increase or we have to decrease the impedance so i'm going to put on to the uh, low z mode and that puts a uh, resistance or impedance of about 3300 ohms across the leads so again i'm going to try the uh, first battery okay it indicates over here 6.2 volts and battery number two still 8.0 oh, what 7.9 volts but that's almost the same as uh, what it showed on uh, the high impedance test battery number three 1.7 volts and battery number four nine point two 9.2 uh, volts. So on this second test, using the low Z or low impedance uh, testing method, it shows that uh, this battery over here, the first one, it drops down by about 3 volts. Um, and that's pretty significant. But let's say that you don't have a multimeter with a low impedance test then you can use a, uh, a resistor in parallel with your test probes. So I have these resistors set up in parallel so that they will equal about 3300 ohms or 3200. So that is the uh, resistors over here. Those are the resistors. They're in parallel, and the uh, the sum of the uh, resistance on it is 3.2 uh, kilo ohms. And that's about what you'll get on the uh, low impedance sitting over here. So let's pretend this is a typical uh, digital multimeter, high impedance. <clears throat> So, I'm going to go and test these again. Okay, the first one, 6.2 volts. Second battery, 7.9 volts. Third battery, 1. Uh, say about 1.6 volts 
its battery is obviously dead. Then the uh, brand new battery, 9.18 uh, volts. So what this shows is, is that by using a typical high impedance digital multimeter, you may be uh, tricked into thinking of batteries such as this. Now this particular one is a lithium battery, but I've also seen this behavior on uh, alkaline batteries as well. But this just shows that when there's no resistance across the, uh, the positive and negative on the battery, or in this case, if there's just so much resistance that it's almost like no resistance, and I believe this is about 10 uh, mega ohms, then uh, you may think that this battery is still good or almost still good because it's almost 9 volts. But when there's even the slightest resistance on it, and 3300 ohms is pretty uh, slight, um, it just shows that uh, that these batteries could show a false uh, a false charge, or it'll give you a false voltage. So just be mindful of that when you check a nine volt battery.